Alright, hello <coughs> everybody and welcome to your next SFML tutorial. Um, this tutorial, uh, you're going to be learning about getting user input. And I've taught you how to draw shapes and put sprites to the screen, but they're all useless if you can't move them. Now, I think I said in my last tutorial that I would show you... I'm not sure if I told you that I would show you about like um, views and screen scrolling and stuff, but... I don't remember if I said that, but I'll put that on hold for a later tutorial. So right now, I have uh, I drew a rectangle, and I if you watch my other tutorial, then you will know what um, this means. But if you don't know what this means, then watch my other tutorials. So basically, I have a blue box, and let me just show you what it is. So it's a blue box in the top left corner. And uh, we have our basic event loops and stuff. And if you don't know what these means, then you need to watch my other tutorials. And this is the new stuff. That, this is stuff that'll be new to you. Right here under the uh, um the update, uh, this is where we're gonna get user input, right? And you already know what the um the rect move means. So basically, this is how you uh get input. Now input is different than events and they're good for movement in a good way if you use events for movement and stuff events are like for one key press right so when you press it then it basically clears the key buffer so then you would have staggered movement right and when you have input right when you press or like hold the right mouse um the right arrow or something it will keep it will keep it in the buffer until you let go and then when you let go of it then it will say that you're not pressing right anymore so anyways uh, there's different ways you can go about it but this is the easiest way so what we do is um let me go right here now I think normally I named the screen but I named the window window this time right so we when we go back to our input I put the window name so window dot get input okay so that means we're getting the input so then when we um so now we're getting just we're just getting input from the keyboard you can get it from joysticks or game pads and stuff but for these tutorials is just for input for computerized input so anyways we put window dot get input and then we put dot is key down so we're checking if that key is being pressed down right uh, and then so we say s if this key is being pressed down so sf colon colon key colon colon right so if the right arrow is being pressed down then we move the box five spaces to the right okay and then same thing for here so then if the left key is being pressed down and move a five spaces to the left if the up key is uh, being pressed we move it five spaces up the screen and if the down key is being um, pressed then we move it down the screen now you know how we put our window.get input instead of putting dot get input we could also uh, I never really used this. I think you put SF input and then you can name it input instead. Instead of putting window.get input, then you can replace that. But I just don't use window.get input. So, anyways, just to see what your program should look like. So, it's probably going to be laggy because I'm recording this while it's going. So, when I click right, it's moving right, I click down, it's moving down when I move left, it's moving left and when I move up, it's moving up okay so basically that's how you do uh, keyboard input if you want me to do um, tutorials on different kinds of input then you can tell me now I'll make one uh, so yeah, that's the tutorial for today this might get a little bit hard to get used to but after a while, you will be able to do it with your eyes closed so this is it for getting input and hope you look forward to my next tutorial. Thanks for watching and bye.